Hi, welcome to my video where today we're going to be talking about tangents. A tangent is a line, right, or segment that intersects a circle at exactly one point. And a tangent is perpendicular to the radius or diameter, whatever you have in your diagram. So here in this diagram, this is a tangent. It would be line AB. And line AB is tangent to circle D because it intersects the circle at exactly one point, this point A, and it's also perpendicular to the radius. It's always going to have those two things in common. So this tangent is perpendicular to my radius DA, and I would be able to say that segment DA is perpendicular to line AB. And again, line AB is the tangent. A congruent segment. Now, segments that are tangent to a circle and intersect at a common exterior point are congruent. So here I have two tangents to this circle, tangent AB, same thing with line AB here, and tangent, which is line BC. And they are connecting or intersecting at this point B. Now, if I tell you that these two lines are tangents, line AB and line BC, then the segments that are created, A to B and B to C, those are congruent to each other. So segment AB is congruent to segment CB. So anytime you have two tangents intersecting on the outside of a circle, those two segments that are created are actually going to be congruent to each other. So we need those two pieces of information to be able to do these following problems. Now, you'll notice I have the same diagram, but each one has different numbers in different spots. We're going to be solving for x. Notice x is in a different spot each time. And we have to think about what this now means. If we have a tangent, and a tangent is perpendicular to the radius, Think about these diagrams now. What is actually created every time you then have a perpendicular? You have a right angle, and therefore this triangle is actually a right triangle. So now let's think about this. If I have a right triangle, the legs would be 3 and 4, so my 4, my tangent, my 3, my radius, and I want to find this entire length. That would be the hypotenuse of that right triangle. Now think about for a moment, I want to find the hypotenuse, but the x is only in this little segment here. It's on the exterior of the circle. But if I use Pythagorean theorem to find the entire length, so let's say 3 squared plus 4 squared equals c squared. I'm going to talk about the entire hypotenuse here. We end up getting c is 5. So this entire length is 5. But how do we just get the x value here? Well, think about it. This hypotenuse is actually constructed of the radius, which we know is 3 plus this x. So if I know this entire length is 5, then x is simply just 2. Because if the entire length is 5, 5 minus that 3 would give me that segment of 2. Let's take a look here and say we wanted to set up Pythagorean theorem. My leg is 5. My other leg is x. I need to see my hypotenuse here. Now, I only know this little segment is 8, but think about this. If we knew the radius was 3 and 3, then this little part of the radius is also 5. So 5 squared plus x squared should be equal to the sum of this side, 13 squared. If we do our Pythagorean theorem, again, ends up just being nice numbers, we'll get that x is equal to 12, and that's the tangent. Here we're going to solve for the radius. We're given a tangent of 24. We're given this little outside part of 18. Um, we know if this is x, then this is also x up here. But think about what's actually going to happen. x squared plus 24 squared should be equal to this entire sum squared. And unfortunately, we don't know that value. It's unknown. It's actually what we're trying to solve for. So this is what this equation would end up looking like. Let's start to simplify it out. So 24 squared is 576. We would need to do x plus 18 times x plus 18 which ends up becoming x squared plus 36x plus 324. We want to solve for x. Notice you've got x squared on both sides, so we can subtract that out. Then we would subtract 324, and then divide both sides by 36, and we would get x equals 7. Now, it checks out. 7 squared plus 24 squared is equal to 7 plus 18, which is 25, 25 squared. 7, 24, 25 is actually one of our Pythagorean intervals. Let's take a look at the problems down here. 
first one says just find x. Now what we learned in the second part of the lesson was that anytime you have tangents that are intersecting on the outside of a circle, those segments are actually congruent to each other. So that means x plus 6 is actually equal to 4x. If I set those equal to each other and I just solve my basic equation, I end up getting x equals 2, which works out. If I plug in a 2, I get 8. If I plug in a 2 here, I get 8. These two, find the perimeter of the triangle and the rhombus. So now these are about segments intersecting outside of the circle. So we have some missing parts here, but we're going to be able to know exactly what those values are based on this property. If this little segment is 2, then this segment is 2 because they are tangents that meet on the outside of a circle. If this is 7, then this segment is 7. If this segment is 8, then this segment is 8. And we know how to find the perimeter. We would simply add up all the sides, and it would end up being 34 total units. Last one. If this is 1.5, then this is 1.5. If this is 4, then this is 4. Now, it does say it's a rhombus, and we know a rhombus means that all four sides are congruent. So if this is 4, then the remaining, since it's got to equal up to the same as this, 4 and a 1.5, that would be 1.5. And if this is 1.5, based on tangent rules, this part, a segment would be 1.5. And because it's a rhombus and they have to be equal sides, this would have to be 4, and then that would be 4. And same way to find our perimeter, obviously, just add up all of your sides. That's it, guys. I hope this video was helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.